Hey gang, in today's video, let's go over how to use parent group val to compare report groupings in Salesforce. Here I have a Salesforce report of new opportunities. And let's say I want to see the percentage of each stage reflected within these opportunities. So first let's go into the report builder. And let's group our report by stage. Okay, let's collapse the details because that makes this a little easier. So here we have all of our opportunities grouped by stage along with the sum of the opportunity amounts for each stage. So let's say I want to know what percentage of opportunities are in prospecting, what percentage are in qualification, and so forth based on the amount. So let's create our summary formula. And before we make this a percent, let's actually go step by step and break down the formula. Okay, so the syntax for the parent group val formula is here. So this is coming directly from the Salesforce help site. I like to just copy and paste when I'm working with formula functions for the first time. Okay, so our first parameter for this function is our summary field. And in this case, that would be the amount of the opportunities, the sum. And then we have our grouping level. So the grouping level that we want to use is called grand summary. Now this doesn't actually populate once you start typing it into this formula editor. But if you go to the Salesforce help site, you can see here that this is the parameter for the grand total, which is what we want. So that's how I know what that is. Let's validate. Oh, and I have to select a grouping. So let's do that. I want to show this value for every stage grouping. So I'll do specific groups in the stage. Let's validate again. And apply. Okay, so before we go in and edit, let's save and run and let's see what we're looking at. The parent group val is returning the grand summary of the amount field down here for each row grouping. So on its own, the formula is actually working exactly as it should. It's returning the correct value. So what we want to do, though, is figure out for each stage. So for prospecting, there's 8,000. Out of the 5.8 million, what is that reflected as a percent, right? So basically, we're taking this number and dividing it by this number, which also happens to be this number. Pardon my silly, my crazy looking arrows. So let's stop annotating. Let's go back into the report builder now and do that mathematical equation. So like I said, it's the sum of the amount for each grouping divided by the total amount that's reflected in the report, which is our parent group val function. Okay, so here we have decimal format. Let's make this a percent. Apply, save and run. And there you have it, a very simple way to use parent group val to compare your report groupings against your totals. Okay, so that last example that we just did was pretty simple, right? Taking the percentage of each row grouping and comparing it to the total. But what if we have multiple groupings in a report and we want to compare across multiple totals? So here's the same report we were working with earlier. 
but this time let's add a grouping, a column grouping for fiscal year. Okay, so before our parent group val function compared the total for each stage to the total of all opportunities. But what if I want to compare the total of each stage to the total of the amount for each fiscal year? So for example, comparing 15,000 in qualification to 2.4 million. So to do that, let's go back to the report builder. And before we work on this new requirement, Let's recreate that parent group val function that we had before. Having some weird difficulty getting that to show up, but okay. So this is the parent group val function that we had before. And if I try to validate, Salesforce will tell me that there's an error because I've only given two parameters here when it's really expecting three. Now, if I go back to the Salesforce help site, for reports that are grouped by both rows and columns, the syntax is actually a little different than what Salesforce spat out in that little formula editor. So the syntax should really be our summary field, which is our opportunity amount, our parent row grouping, which is our stage possibly, and our parent column grouping, which our column grouping is fiscal year. So going back to the report builder, in order to recreate the parent group file function that I had before, I need to add grand summary as both my row grouping and my column grouping. And I'll just show you if I try to validate it will tell me that I have to use a grouping context to use the function. So in this case, let's group by stage and fiscal year, validate again, apply, and let's see what we've got. Okay, so we've basically successfully done what we did the last time, where our parent group val function is returning the grand total of all of our opportunities, which is down here in this column. So like I said before, the total that I want to return for each of these little boxes is actually the total by fiscal year. So let's go back to the report builder. Let's go back to our formula. And for our parent row grouping, we actually don't need to see this function work by stage, right? Because we're only working with fiscal year. So I'm going to keep grand summary as is. And then for our parent column grouping, let's change that to fiscal year. In this case, our groupings should still be correct. So let's validate. Supply, save and run. So like I said before, we want to return for each of these groupings, the actual total by fiscal year. And that's exactly what we've done so far. So just one thing to keep in mind, to actually figure this formula out, I needed to really play around with where to put grand summary, where to put stage, where to put fiscal year, because Salesforce doesn't have great documentation on all of the nuance that surrounds this formula. So for example, I know grand summary is correct here because we don't want to take into account amounts per stage. We're only focused on fiscal year. But if I did say I wanted to incorporate stage, what exactly would happen? So in this case, our parent group val function is actually returning the sum within each row and column grouping, which makes sense because we specified both of those in the formula. But this is just one of those things that 
If you're not totally sure or the logic isn't clicking right away, you'll probably have to play around a bit with your formula to actually understand what's happening. So that's why every time I'm working with parent group val or even pre group val, which is the other function um, similar to this one, I'll always start with my formulas returning the number just so I can easily see what's being returned and if that makes sense to me. So let's go back to what we had before because we know that was correct. And I can see in the report preview that this is returning the total by fiscal year, which is what we wanted. So now let's make this into a percent. We have our decimal. And there you go. 15,000 is 0.61% of 2.4 million and so on and so forth. So I hope this video was helpful in beginning to understand how this function works. To get an even better grasp of it, like I said before, I would recommend that you go into your formula and play around with these two parameters. See what it looks like when you specify each row grouping and column grouping here. See what it looks like if you have one parameter as being the grand summary or both or just the column parameter here. Because honestly, that's probably the only real way you'll start to get comfortable with using this formula in your day to day. So if this video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And for more videos like this, be sure to subscribe. Thanks.